My next guest is a senior editorial page writer and Chicago native, uh, Colin Levy, to talk about U.S. Attorney Patrick Fitzgerald's announcement yesterday that he will be resigning. Welcome, Colin. Hi, Jason. You are a Chicago native. I got that right, didn't I? Indeed. <laughs> okay, okay. So, um, Patrick uh, Fitzgerald has been in this job for more than a decade. He has uh, overseen a number of high-profile cases. Colin, um, what do you think his legacy will be? Well, I mean, you have to remember, Pat Fitzgerald has really been in a very unique situation. He's been in an unusually fertile delta for high-profile corruption cases. You know, you have a state here where, I mean, you know, Fitzgerald got to got to prosecute prosecute two consecutive um, Illinois governors and, uh, you know, someone from Mayor Daley's office and any number of assorted aging mobsters along the way. So there's certainly been lots of work for him here. And, you know, you, you would say for him that he, he brought um, uh, a, a lot of the Chicago way into the limelight. Um, so that's, that's sort of his Chicago legacy. I think uh, when that legacy, or he tried to expand that legacy outward, I think onto a national level, things got a little more complicated. And, and I want you to expand on that a little bit. I, I, I guess your, your major problem has to do with what uh, we'd call prosecutorial discretion. Uh, Colin, uh, as well as the way he, he chose to fight these cases in the public. Yeah, I think that's right. It's a prosecutorial discretion. In his case, probably uh, prosecutorial showmanship was really um, the ticket. You know, you really had the, the sense that he was litigating by press conference. Um, you know, even in the in the Rod Blagojevich trial, the first uh, trial that he worked on, uh, didn't go very well, but it, he certainly made a big splash when he went into it, uh, announcing that that uh, Blagojevich had been on a uh, a corruption crime spree that would make Lincoln roll over in his grave. And those are words that most prosecutors would certainly shy away from um, announcing in public yeah. um, in that manner. So I think that that raised some questions about his his judgment in that regard. And then there's of course the um, the, the case that brought him to uh, national attention of a lot of people for the first time, the Scooter Libby case involving um, Vice President Dick Cheney's chief of staff. And um, what was the issue that conservatives had with the way he prosecuted that case, Colin? Well, the real the real issue there was that uh, was that he already had knowledge about some of the the leaks in the Valerie Plame case, and he um, basically pushed an obstruction of justice uh, charge on Libby when he basically already knew where the leaks were coming from. So uh, there was the question of uh, it looked like a little bit of uh, political marauding there, I think. Okay. Um, and and again, an effort to you you, you can take down a, a politically sensitive. Um, defendant pretty easily. It's not all that hard to do if you get someone like Conrad Black, who's unpopular, Rod Blagojevich, who's unpopular. Uh, Scooter Libby was certainly the target of a very intense media right. campaign against him. So these are things where uh, Patrick Fitzgerald was making his name um, <laughs> sort yeah. of shoot fish in a barrel in some ways, um, whether or not those were, were legitimate charges. Uh, very quickly, we've got about 30 seconds, Colin. He held a press conference today. Did he say anything about his, his future plans? He's relatively young, early 50s. Have we seen the last of uh, Patrick Fitzgerald? <laughs> I'm pretty sure we haven't seen the last of him. He was cagey about his prospects, but he said uh, he was dedicated to public service but wouldn't be running for office, so he may be hoping for some kind of appointment, or uh, there, there certainly will be more of him down the road.